Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today we're going to be decorating a super easy pink ombre buttercream cake. The first thing you're going to have to do is make up a batch of the buttercream. You actually need a triple batch of it and the recipe quantities are all on the blog howtocookthat.net. There's a link in the description just below this video. And stir the butter and the icing sugar together using a spoon until it's slightly combined and then use the electric mixer on low speed. If you just jump straight into high speed you're going to end up with a face full of icing sugar which is not what you want. Once they're reasonably combined and starting to look like a paste then you continue mixes onto high speed and you want to mix it for about 4 minutes. Add about 3 or 4 tablespoons of milk until you get the desired consistency and it should start to look paler in colour and fluffy like this. Take out a third of your mixture and leave that to one side and then with the remaining mixture add a small amount of colour and mix it well. You can use any colour you want if you want it in blue or pink or whatever you would like to do. Place a decent scoop of this into your first bowl and then add more of the same colour again and repeat that process until you have five shades going from light to dark of your colour. Place each of these into a Ziploc bag and leave them to one side for the moment. Using the plain buttercream, put a smear on your cake stand or plate and then add your bottom layer of cake. Then put a thin layer of buttercream between your layers and add the next layer on top and then more buttercream and the top layer of cake. And I am using three here so you have a taller effect rather than just using the two and that will give us room to do our different colours down the cake. Smooth some more of your plain buttercream on top of the cake. You could use a colour here if you want to. I just like the contrast of having the creamy colour on top. And then put a really thin coating around the sides of your cake also. Take each of your bags of frosting and fold the corner over on itself so it's doubled over and then just snip the corner off. And try and cut the same amount off each bag so it's easy to pipe the same size blobs. Push the frosting down towards the open corner and then twist the top of the bag so that the frosting can't push back up into the bag when you squeeze it. Then starting with your lightest colour, pipe blobs the whole way around the top of the cake. Then use a teaspoon and squash the bottom half of the blob and drag it downwards. So you're just pushing it in and dragging it downwards towards the bottom of the cake and then repeat that the whole way around the cake. Take your next colour and place a blob just not underneath the smear but just covering any of it where it's starting to look uneven or not so good so you can only see the nice part of your piping and put those blobs the whole way around the cake and then repeat what you did before. Just grab the spoon, push it in and pull down. Now I found if you dip your spoon in hot water you get a smoother look to these blobs than if you just use a dry spoon. And so I dip the spoon in, don't even dry it, just put it straight on the icing and drag it down. You can use any icing that you like that will hold its shape for this. You don't have to use buttercream. You could use Italian meringue icing, you could use cream cheese frosting if you've got a nice thick one, or you could use white chocolate ganache, whatever you would prefer the taste of on your cake. As long as it's firm enough to hold its own shape, it'll be perfect. Continue this way all around your cake in the different colours until you reach down to the bottom. Then use a knife to scrape off any excess from the plate and get some paper towel and wipe your plate perfectly clean. Then take your final colour and pipe blobs around the base. And there you have it, a quick, easy ombre birthday cake for you. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. Really appreciate your comments and sharing the videos. You guys are awesome and I'll see you next week.